Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Aisha Loves Makeup. Today I am going to be unboxing the Allure Beauty Box for the month of August. If you guys would like to see what I got in my box, then stay tuned. So before we get into what I got in my box, I just wanted to say hello to anybody who may be new to my channel. My name is Aisha. I do lots of unboxings on my channel. I love makeup subscription boxes and I love makeup, hence the name Aisha Loves Makeup. So I do all types of fun um, unboxings um, and makeup hauls on this channel. If this is something that you're interested in, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I upload a video. And I also appreciate all the thumbs up. It gives me support to my channel and pushes my videos out for the YouTube algorithm. Alrighty, so... Um, this is the box for the month of August. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but Allure is putting their prices up on their beauty boxes. Uh, I love that they were only $15. That was an amazing deal. I don't know how they did that for so long because they actually gave full-size items. Sometimes we would get a full-size skincare item that was like $30, $40, $50.00. And the box was only $15. So I honestly, in the back of my head, I, every single month, I'm like, they're going to put the prices up. They're going to put the prices up. I'm like, it's only a matter of time because with everything that's going on, people are not going to be able to afford to keep the boxes so cheap, especially if you're giving one or two full-size items in the box for only $15. So the prices are going to go up on October 1st. Um, I actually got lucky. Um, most of my subscription boxes, I always do them a year in advance. If they ever have um, a yearly subscription, I just do the yearly subscription, A, because I hate getting bills to my house. I don't like to see a bill, even though I paid for it a year in advance, so I definitely did pay for it. I don't want to see it. So anything that offers a year in advance, six months in advance, I'd rather just pay it and get it out of the way, and then I don't have to like ever worry about it. So most subscription boxes like Alarm, subscribe for a year, Birchbox, um, all the I think Ipsy uh, Glam Bag, the first um, the the how much is it? The twelve dollar one? That one is it twelve or fifty? The prices keep changing, but the cheapest one I'm subscribed to that for a year. Like, um, BoxyCharm doesn't have a yearly one. I think they have a six months one. I did the six months one. I just, I just like to just get it out of the way. Um, and then a the cool thing about that is if they do put up the prices, they can't really put the prices up for you because you already paid for the whole year. Now, after the year is done, they got you, but until then, you're scot free. So I got, uh, I just escaped, um, and, um, I'm excited to see what these new boxes are going to look like because they said um, because they put in the boxes a little bit more money, they're going to make it better curated boxes. So let's see in October if this is true or not. All right. So without further ado, let's see what I got in my box. All right. So the boxes always come in the standard white box. They always have a plastic, a clear plastic over this. And on the clear plastic, it has like your shipping address on it. So all you have to do is just actually take the plastic off and you're good to go. All right. So this is what it looks like when you take the box, the cover off. We have a little booklet here. And uh, it tells you each thing that you got. And then there's somebody who uses a product and they tell you their experience on the item. So the only thing I don't like about that is everybody's skin is different. So just because, for example, uh, this young lady, her name is Kathleen. Uh, she's an assistant beauty director. Just because this worked for uh, Kathleen doesn't mean that this is going to work for you. Doesn't mean it's going to work for Aisha. Everybody's skin is different. So if somebody says they love a product, 
They may love it because their skin is oily. They may love it because their skin is dry. So never like buy something because someone else says they like it. You got to investigate a little bit more and see if it's catering to your skin type. But like each thing is all about like what, why this person likes this item. So as opposed to, I wish I just said what it, the product actually did because at the end of the day, no one really cares like about what it works for somebody else. They want to know if it works for them. Just a suggestion, but you know, um, that's just my opinion. They do have the prices on the bottom, um, that tells you the price of the full size items. So that's good. Cause you guys know, I always like love when they have the prices. Alrighty. So we have this little red tissue paper over the box and this is a, a sneak peek of what I got in my box. So all of this stuff for 15 bucks, not too shabby, but unfortunately that's not going to last anymore because they're putting the prices up. Um, another thing I like about doing the yearly subscription is, for example, I did the yearly subscription to the Allure Beauty Box and they gave you like, um, a beauty bundle full, when I say filled with stuff, filled with stuff. And it was for free just for, um, subscribing to Allure Beauty Box for the year. Um, I'm going to leave that video down in the description down below if you guys want to see that video because I literally got like so much stuff from makeup to hair care to skincare box, a, a bigger box than this, a lot bigger and lots of goodies in there. So that was a cool incentive um, to make somebody subscribe for a year even if they didn't want to. Um, same thing with Birchbox, I got a huge, uh, you got different options if you wanted to like, a, if, I think if you subscribe for six months, they were giving like a Sunday Riley full size vitamin C moisturizer. I had already had that from like an Ipsy subscription. I think it was like the plus, I got it in that um, subscription. So I was like, I'm not gonna do that, but I was gonna do the six, I mean, the year anyway. And a year was a mega bundle for $250 value filled with goodies. So if you guys want to see that, I will have it below in the description. Alrighty, so let's see. The first thing that's calling out to me is this Rose Blend uh, Rose and Pomegranate Oils. It's a nourishing face oil by Pixie. So I actually love... Uh, I fell in love with the Pixi product skincare um, because in Ipsy, once again, um, they gave me the, it's like a face mist. Uh, it has like oil in it. Um, I think it's like the Pixi face, I think it's like a face mist oil. I think that's what it's called. But you spray and it gives your skin such a beautiful glow. A lot of my foundations are mattifying and I don't like when my skin looks like all matte. I like it to have like a little soft sheen to it. So I would spray my face with that and it looked beautiful. And, and ever since then, I've tried, I, I like, I, if I like one thing, then I want to try more. So that's what got me into trying more things from Pixie. So I'm excited to try this. Um, let's see what it looks like. So you got a little beaker. My beaker looks like it's broken because it's like slanted to my uh, right. But, uh, I'm scared to move it because it looks like it's like, um, if I move it, it's going to break. I did see on Reddit, because I like to like, I'm nosy. I want to see how everybody, what everyone else got in their boxes. Hence why I started my channel, because I'm like, people probably want to know what I got. So I, so I show you guys what I got in my videos. But also, I like to know what everyone else got in their videos. And people post what they got on Reddit. And I saw that somebody, um, she said, be careful of your pixie. Um, what do you call these things? I don't even know what you call it. I can't think of the name right now. Um, but she said that it came, it was a glass that came broken. So I'm not even going to move this. This might have been a defect. So that's a bummer about that. They should have just had it inside. Like, just had it inside the thing. But it comes with this little cap. So... Let me see. Is there a stopper on here? Oh, you have to take the stopper off. And then, it, so it has a stopper, so nothing's going to come out. It has a little plastic stopper in here. So I have to pull this out, which I'm not, I, I don't think I can do with my nails right now. Um, but then I guess afterwards you can put your bottle in. But I hope it doesn't uh, affect my bottle because this is um, slanted. I'm not even going to try to move this thing because it's, I feel like, if I move, it's going to break. Oh, let me see. No, I'm not going to break it on camera. 
But that's the first thing I got. Um, how much is this? This was $24 for the full size, and this is a full size. Let me see if I can open this with my handy dandy scissors. All right, let's see here. Because I'm curious of like what it smells like. Okay, I took the stopper off. Let's see how it feels. So I got a little of the oil on my hand. Let's put a little bit on the back of my hand. Um, it doesn't really smell, what does it say? It's rose oil blend. I don't know if it smells like roses. It does have like a sweet scent to it. But I can't put a finger on like what it smells like. But I wouldn't call it a rose scent, but that's what it looks like. So it gives my hand like a little glow. I didn't put too much on. Let's see if the stopper breaks if I put it in slanted. Let's see. Oh, it goes in and it closes. Let's see if it works slanted now. We're testing this live on camera. Oh, it still works. So that was a good thing. Just, I gotta be really, it's a little hard to put it in at first since it's slanted, but nevertheless, I'm in the clear. Woo -woo. All right, so let's see what else I got here. So I am excited about my first item. It retails, like I said, for 25 bucks, uh, $24. So with the first thing, I already got the value of the box. All right, so what's this? This is a the famous black soap, Sea Mud Deep Cleansing Bar. So I got a bar of soap. Um, the, it, the, the full size is $38. I don't think this is a full size. I mean, it doesn't say that it's a full size, but the full size of this would be $3. Um, it's a sea mud deep cleansing bar. Sounds exciting. I mean, a bar of soap. Uh, is this for the face? Use directly at the cleansing oil of your choice. I think this is for the face. Cleansing bar. Um, soaps are never exciting, but I mean, I'm interested to try it. I'm very curious. So, so far, I'm not mad at the two things I got. The next thing I got is a Wish Botanical Primer. Skin balancing, it reduces environmental stress. Um, Wish, I've, heard, I've seen a lot of this and on um, the subscription boxes. So this is a botanical primer. It has a little seal on it. So let's see here. I'm just curious if it has like pink in it. Cause if you look at the actual, like the thing, it has like a pink line across, which you know I'm all for the pink, but I'm just scared like pink on my skin tone probably won't be like the cutest. So I'm going to hold off on trying this. Maybe I'll put, give it as a giveaway. The next thing I got is a hydration sensitive gel cream moisturizer by H2O Plus. And let's see what this looks like. So this is a sample size. Oh, how much was the Wish thing? The Wish thing, um, the full size of that is $44. Um... And then this is, let's see. Okay, that's weird. This is not in the um, pamphlet. As you can see, I have the pixie. I have this, which I'm gonna show you in a second. I got the soap. I have a floss item. Oh, there we go, it's down here. Sorry, guys. It's just the full size looks like this. It looks different than the actual sample size. So I didn't realize. But this is what, when you buy it, it comes, I guess, apparently in a jar. Like so. Since this is the sample size, this is what it looks like. Um, and the full size of this uh, retails for $42. I have way too much skincare. Um, I've been saying this the past, you know, couple of months. Um, since, like, um, the whole pandemic sort of happening. All the subscription boxes, they're so skincare heavy. And there's definitely nothing to matter with having skincare heavy boxes. Like, I want to try new skincare products as well. I want to try new everything. But, I mean, I only have one face. And it's like, 
your skin, you need at least a month of using something to know if it works. So I don't want to be using 10,000 different things all at once. I'm not going to know what really truly was working. So it's just hard to try everything as opposed to like, if you got a whole bunch of like makeup, it's okay if you don't use your nice little palette. Um, one, if you only use it once a month or once every other month, because like those last longer, but like skincare, once you open it, the life stand starts and it doesn't last as long. So, I mean, I miss the good old days where the subscription boxes, the makeup subscription boxes was actually makeup. Nowadays, it's mostly skincare. Um, for this Allure box, for example, so far, um, nothing is really makeup. This is a primer, so I guess it could be classified as makeup, but I, I classify it more as skincare. I want like color, like blush, lipstick, eyeshadow, bright products, liquid liner, eyeliner, makeup, not like, you know, how do you guys feel about that? Like, that's just my opinion, but I'm just, you know. So look, now I got a serum. So like all of this stuff to me seems like skincare, which is fine, but I mean, oh, I like the packaging on this. Activating serum. Um, I just want to try like more makeup. Makeup, like, when I get, like, new makeup, I get so excited. I can't wait to try the palette. I can't wait to try the liner. Like, I don't get, like, oh, I can't wait to try this moisturizer. Like, does anybody get like that? Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, so this um, retails for 84 bucks. the full size of this. Um, I will be giving this away in a giveaway because I just, like I said, I have too much... It makes no sense to me. I'm never going to be able to finish all of the moisturizers, the serums, the eye creams that I get every single month because majority of the boxes are all skincare, unfortunately. And I'm only one person and I don't want anything to go to waste. So I'm going to give it away so that way at least someone else can enjoy it. Alrighty. So the next thing I got is from Floss. Um, I've heard about the brand, but I've never tried anything from it. This is a brightening up highlighter. This is what the box looks like. Okay. So the highlighter looks like so. Well, I'll show you from, that's the packaging. So, I want to say this highlighter is going to give me ash galore on my cheeks because this is very light for me. However, I'm going to keep it because I can use it for, like, my tear ducts. Like, sometimes I like highlighters in corners of my eye. So, I am going to. Too bad I didn't, if I would have known, I would have never put any highlighter in the center of my eye. But, like, I like to, like, take, like, um my brushes and I like to just put a little... Something, something like in the corners of my eye. I have a mirror right in front of me, so I'm not doing this like free falling. I have a mirror like literally right in front of me, but I mean, it's a nice highlighter color. Yeah, I just put like a little something, something like right in the corners of my eyes. But I already have some a little in the corner, so you won't be able to tell. But it blends with what I have. So I think it'll be a good color for me. Alrighty. So that concludes everything that I got in my box. In my box. Oh, actually, I was lying. There's something else in here. A face mask. A brightening lift up. So, um, I don't know what, what the brand, what brand is this? Um, hmm. It says Look and Mel, Look, Looks and Mel, Looks and Mel's is a brand. See, Looks and Mel. And then they have the name on the bottom as well. So I got a face mask, it's a bright, it says Brightening Lift Up Perfect Fit Mask. So I'm excited to try that. It's always good to try masks. So as you guys can see, as I say always, these boxes end up being skincare heavy. Skincare, skincare, skincare.
skincare, skincare, skincare. I count primers as skincare. It's still like something like under your makeup. So skincare, the only thing I got that was makeup was this floss highlighter. I think this is going to be too ashy for me, but let's try it on camera since I'm ending the video to see if it's going to give me ash galore. All right, let's see here. Let's see. I'm looking on the camera. Actually, it's not as ashy as I thought it was going to be. I'm glad I tried. Whoa. Not too shabby, Floss. It looks white in the packaging, but on it goes on gold. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I actually like this highlighter. Wow. What do you guys think of the highlighter? I like it. I think it looks nice. Um, yeah, this is a color. It's called Sunlit. So I actually think I would actually wear this. I'm glad I tried it. Sometimes looks can be deceiving. So I like this. My first thing from Floss. Alrighty, so that concludes everything in the box that I got. Um, I would rate this box a 1 out of 5. I would rate this box a... A two. Um, because I didn't like a, at least half of the things in the box. The only thing I'm excited for that I didn't think I was excited was gonna be excited for was the, actually the highlighter was actually really nice. Um, I love Pixie, so I'm excited for that. But I'm only excited for two things out of two out of three. Um, I'm gonna use the bar soap, and I do like I do like mask, so I guess maybe three. But like I didn't like that it was like majority skincare. And um, I wish, like, the subscription boxes would take everyone's opinion because a lot of people, I see a lot of people complaining and saying they wish that they would go back to it being more like, you know, makeup, sub skin, uh, makeup subscription boxes. That's what they claim to be. They don't claim to be, like, a skincare subscription box or, like, a lifestyle subscription box. Like, if it's a lifestyle subscription box um, and you're getting, like, all makeup or you're getting all skincare, then it's, like, Where's the lifestyle items? But if it's a makeup description box, let's see a little bit more makeup. And that's just my opinion. Alrighty, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. Um, I have another video that I'm actually going to film right after this. Um, in case you guys didn't realize, I like to uh, film like two videos at a time. Um, well, not exactly at the same time, but one after another, just because during the week, like, it's hard for me to film every single day, so I just like to, you know, do two videos, um, one after another, so that way I, you guys can always have content, because I don't want you guys to, like, never not have videos. You guys know I don't like to go along without you guys having videos. So, um, if you see my next video and I have the same outfit on, that's because I filmed it in the same day. Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!